With your local area news this morning, I'm Justin Watt, brought to you by Sandy Wheeler State Farm. Center Police Officer Blackwell tells us the origin of the Center Police Officer's toy drive. So we met this little boy last year. I can't remember the little boy's name, but the little boy said he wanted to go see Papa. And if he didn't get to go see Papa, he's going to have a broken heart. So my partner and I started talking about we should buy Christmas for some of these kids that we see all the time. It's not going to have Christmas. Start off as two of us. We're just going to buy Christmas for a kid each. Kind of grew, the idea grew, got bigger, um, and we wound up soliciting names. We got names from the outreach. We got names from CASA. We just got names from everybody that was trying to help kids buy Christmas. Wound up with 64 names. There's no way two of us could have bought Christmas for 64 kids. But we were able to get the help of a couple of local businesses. And they made very, very generous donations. And with the help of those local businesses, our wives, dispatchers, the officers, our kids, we stood up here and wrapped Christmas presents one night until I think it was 3 in the morning when we got done. And we were able to buy Christmas for 64 children in Shelby County who were not otherwise going to have a Santa Claus delivery. Ashley J. Watkins of Luckin recently won $2.5 million in the Texas lottery. On November the 30th, Panola College recently celebrated 125 years of combined service throughout the careers of any long-term employees. So congratulations to our local Panola College. The Vern Van for Shelby and St. Augustine County has been lifted. The Shelbyville Student Council will be collecting unwrapped toys to be donated to the Shelby County Children Advocacy Center between now to the 15th. If you'd like to help out the Shelbyville Dragons play Santa Claus, then please drop out toys at any Shelbyville school location. The Shelby County Child Welfare Board Empty Stocking Fundraiser is going to be held this Saturday, December the 10th, 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. And your reservoir this morning in Shelby County, Michael Wallace, age 41 of Milan, Colic Intoxication, Kimberly Lee Smith, age 52 of Shelbyville, Violation of a Protection Order, and Ladrika McAllister, age 35 of Center Assault Family, Violence, violation of parole, and possession of controlled substance. Calvin Rose, age 58, a center, TBC. In your arrest report this morning in St. Augustine County, Paula A. Handy, possession of a controlled substance, three counts. And in your obituaries this morning, 93 year old Miss Iris Jones of Carthage, formerly a center, passed away Friday the 2nd in Carthage. Graveside service will be held today at 10 a.m. at the Oakland Memorial Park. A visitation was held this previous Sunday from 5 to 7 at the Jimerson Olympsy Funeral Home in Carthage. She is survived by her son, Dr. Tom, and wife, Vicki Jones of Carthage, daughter, Wanda, and husband, Jerry Hansen of Carthage, brother, Dale McCauley of Groves, four grandchildren, and ten great-grandchildren, along with a host of other friends and family. For more information, please visit our website at cbc-radio.com. With your local area news this morning, I'm Justin Ott, brought to you by the good people at Sandy Wheeler State Farm.